Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Now in the last episode I promised that I would go back and get my souls. Well, that didn't quite work out mainly because I died. Uh, but as you can see I have 2000 souls mainly from killing a few enemies and using off my consumables. So we're gonna go ahead and do a couple of things. First of all, we are going to reinforce this rapier because I think I'm gonna use this thing. Wait, do I need... I need... what is it? Oh, I need one more Titanite shard. Well, okay, that's fine. We are also going to do this. Get four Estus flasks. And that's gonna be kind of it. With Andre, at least. Next thing. Is we are going to visit her. <clears throat> and... Oh, they have the prison stones as well. First of all, there's a white stein soapstone, which I feel like I should buy even if I'm not gonna co-op. <clears throat> Fuck it, we'll buy it. I mean, who cares? And we're also gonna... See, the thing is, I feel like I can pick up a sorcerer's staff somewhere. Like, there's gonna be a drop, but uh, I don't know. Because this is the spell I want to get, the Feron Dart, well, eventually. Yeah, you know what, we'll leave that for later. Because right now, we don't really need it. Of course, now we're going to go back. I think I should warp to... Yeah, it's this bonfire, right? It is. Oh, someone is using the Black Knight Great Axe. So that's still in the game. But yeah, it's nice to get be getting back into Dark Souls 3, even though it hasn't been that long since I recorded. We finally have a new sort of area to explore, that bottom part down with the elevator. I'm sure we're going to encounter new horrors and plenty of deaths. Alright, let's get going here. This is a really pretty area, because... I know this because I've been watching uh, ENB's playthrough. Of course, I'm not gonna watch ahead. I only watch up to what I've cleared the game to. And I never really noticed that this castle is actually like on a huge mountain. And there is kind of like a village down there. Which I'm assuming is a place we're gonna be going to. But yeah, really cool. I never really noticed that this thing is like on a huge mountain. Um, yeah, let's take care of these enemies quickly. Not that we need to. I just don't want them, them to follow me, honestly. She probably wouldn't do, but you never know. Be careful of this guy with the axe. He has, like, a huge hitbox on that thing. Thank you, Rapier. And just, like chain him and let's just check out oops yeah that looks nice but I'm kind of doubtful as to how useful it is I'm getting like I have like two long swords now so I really should sell them back at firelink shrine since I don't think I'm gonna be using it this rapier looks nice I might you know you know what I really want I really want the S stock so, if I can fi manage to find the S-Talk, it's definitely going to be my uh, primary weapon, I think. Again, it's really easy to bottleneck these guys, plus I can one-shot one, hit, one shot them now. I will still use the dagger, but kind of more situational. Oh, I should have bought arrows. No, actually, because I have a different kind of arrow, too. Yeah, I just got to figure out how to switch. Oh, uh, no. How do you switch arrows? Shit. Is it like... It's something weird. No. I just... Oh, that, there it is. You need to use L2. Okay. Did I aggro this? No. I thought I aggroed him by using the arrow, but I guess not. It's so nice, the range on this thing. But yeah, this is the new area, which I haven't really explored. This was the thing with the illusory wall, 
I guess it's still there. And that's where I came from. Cool. So we have knights. We have... We have three paths. Oh, two knights. Just wanna, just wanna take them out one by one. Shit, that shield bash. It's a lot easier fighting him now with the rapier. Honestly. First of all, I don't have to get in so close. No, I tried to kick, which didn't work out. I'm gonna die soon. Yes. Less critical damage, of course, but... I think it's worth it for the um, extra benefits that come with this weapon and of course there's another one down here which is a sword one you can probably parry him but I'm not that much of an idiot to try and parry this guy God, he really loves that shield bash oops I didn't know that that would be the third hit of that combo, like a stab. Uh, oh well, I kind of expected to die to these, to this mob. First of all, oh, I didn't, I didn't bring the elevator back up, because I was gonna say, first of all, I can just like run past these enemies down here, and I realized I can't do that if I brought the fucking elevator up, which I did not, and I shouldn't really be taking falling damage. But that was less impressive than I thought. Plunging? Oh no, fuck. This is why I exactly I... W See, if I have the elevator up, I can ignore these guys. I can just like run past them. Now I have to fucking waste an Estus Flask. So yeah, I gotta remember to do this. I think it's gonna be pretty easy to run past most of the enemies down here. I just gotta do the thing with the elevator. But anyways, it looks like there are a lot of paths to explore beyond those two nights. Which is good. This area is certainly expansive. Of course, I have a feeling that once you learn it, kind of like Undead Berg, <coughs> it's gonna become less of a mystery. Just remember how crazy Undead Berg seemed the first time I played through it. Just like so many paths and places to explore, but then it turns out there really weren't that many. This is why it's good finding these guys here, because I can just like get back to my soul guaranteed. I think I'm not the only one who died to these knights, I have a feeling. Like they're idiots, just like what? When you shoot past them? Hey buddy, you have an arrow sticking out of you. Oh no. I should just fi try finding a normally instead of fishing for backstabs like I'm doing right now. Because they actually, despite the fact that they're... Oh, yeah, I forgot they have that. Despite the fact that they're wearing heavy armor, they actually stagger really easily. Yeah, I should just fight them normally. Now the question is, should I in the eye heal? I'll heal. I mean, I'll heal before I take on the second one, who's probably gonna kill me again. But yeah, we have down there, up there. We can go forward. This is definitely the one I have less experience with. This night. Okay. If that would have hit me, that would have been, I think, death. Hey, that actually worked out pretty well. Lothric Knight Shield. Hopefully there, there's some lore here, which 
Shield of the renowned Lothric Knights decorated with the royal crest. The Lothric Knights contended with dragons and their shields have suitably high, fi high lightning absorption befitting a dragon slayer's arms. Skill per... yeah, okay. So it's kind of like a lightning resist shield. Probably pretty good. Probably has 100% physical. There are these weird things here. You saw We saw these guys in the intro. Okay, so this just all loops around. There's also a... You know what, we'll go in here first. Hope ahead. Looks like an NPC, but it also looks like a boss fight. Okay. What if I talk to her or him? And it's gonna, like, trigger something. Is there? No. I thought there would be a path. Oh, can you go? No, you can't go upstairs. That's disappointing. Okay, let's talk to him or her. Her. Ah, wait has been long, unkindled one. I am Emma, High Priestess of Lothric Castle. Allow me to speak frankly. You will not find the Lords of Cinder here. They have left, gone, to their journey homes converging at the base of this castle. Head to the bottom of the high wall, forge on through the great gate, and raise this banner to proceed. Oh. So this she's not evil. Our gift is for you. It is the insignia of an old covenant. If you fear trespassers, dark spirits drawn by the embers, then etch this upon your heart. And the old Concord will beckon noble blue sentinels to hunt these foul spirits. So the usual stuff, way of the blue. Apparently now, um... Go through the great, but beware. The dog keeps a close eye on things. The what? The vile watchdog of the Boreal Valley. Do I smell a boss fight? I smell a boss fight. First things first, I need to do something. Been watching, like I said, ENB's playthrough, and he says that the binoculars are really awesome. So I thought I would equip them and have a look. Let's have a look at her. She looks really similar to the Fire Keepers, doesn't she? From Dark Souls 2 and the one in uh, the Sh Firelink Shrine. Let's have a look at this Lothric banner. banner. Small banner held by Lothric messengers hold up outside the main castle gate to be greeted by an escort. When the high wall appeared, the path to the unnet settlement was blocked, and the messengers came bearing this banner. They were sent out with a duty, but had no way of returning. Well, we can return because we can teleport, because we're just like awesome, awesome like that. Alright, so I'm glad I came this way because you probably need this to proceed with the actual game. Um, be wary of masks. Oh shit, is, like, is that like a really difficult enemy? He has blue cape. He, he has a blue cape. Yeah, we're just gonna... He fucked up. Whatever, we'll use this weapon for now. Why am I better at fighting this guy than nor the normal knights? Uh oh. That was my time to change my weapon, wasn't it? It's actually the best way of learning their moveset is to fight them. I thought I was dead. Probably am dead. Because I'm dealing like no damage to him and I was fishing. He is tough. This guy is tough. I probably should be using my rapier. Did I, did I bring the elevator back up or was I an idiot again? No, I think I did. Okay, so you know what, we're gonna... I'm not gonna leave this guy, I'll try him one more time, but then I have to get through the knights again. 
Okay, switching to the thing, the dagger was not a good idea. Aside from the fact that I got a nice backstab at the start. Oh, wait. Should rest up because you saw my durability wasn't full. I still want to kill this guy because I don't know how far he can shoot. But anyways. Let's see if I was stupid or not. I wasn't. Good. Does my character blink? Oh, well. See you later. That was certainly strange. But I did crush him with the elevator, which is kind of cool. Alright. So should I try this guy again? Well, I have to because my souls are there. Okay, that was terrible. So, at least I figured out a couple of things. First of all, these knights are... If I fight them normally, I do a lot better. Second of all, <clears throat> I don't know what this is. There is no second of all. Still does nice damage. That's what I gotta watch out for. That's his weapon skill. Yeah, let's just get him over here. I like fighting him over here for some reason. Probably not on the stairs because then I can't get can't get any backstabs. Oh fuck, he delayed it. Did you see that? That was actually pretty smart. Yeah, let's go. Right here. I'll heal up again. Again, if you haven't played the Souls game before. Fighting enemies on stairs is not always the best idea because if there is a height difference between you and your enemy, you actually can't get any backstabs and parries, so... I'm gonna be... Oh, fuck, he's, it's right next to him. Shit. No, we're going, we're going. Sorry to disturb you. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to fight him. I'll bring my... At least if I die here, my souls are gonna be here, so... It's gonna be easier to retrieve. Yeah, they know how to delay their weapon art. No, I'm dead. Got him down to half-life again. If I kill this guy, that's gonna be pretty amazing. I killed him. Nice. Refined gem. And Lothric Knight armor. Refined gem. What the hell does that do? It's a weapon upgrade item, isn't it? If used to create refined weapon, blah blah blah. This is a new weapon type, isn't it? Refined weapons are difficult to wield properly and scale effectively with strength. Oh, it's the. It's the same as the quality, um. Infusion in Demon Souls, right? That it increases strength and deck scaling. That's nice. Not sure if I'll have a use for it. And... Honestly... Are they? No, they're just like normal enemies. I really should go back and... Fuck, I tried. Oh, the rapier still has... I got stabbed. I was gonna go and run up and kill that guy. <laughs> 
The rapier still has the backstep animation. I thought because they had that as one of the weapon art attacks that you would still get the uh, kick, but apparently not. That's the only thing that kind of sucks about the rapier class weapons, is that instead of the kick, you have this little... It's kind of like an evasive move, and like this hop back. But honestly, the uses for it are... are there are a lot less uses for it than the kick. Because you can't, of course, break enemy um, guards. So I'm gonna try getting back to where I was. Pick up my souls and proceed a little bit. I mean, I'm only 21 minutes in, so we'll go on for a little bit. Especially since I think I did pretty okay. I gotta, gotta manage to get through a couple of tougher enemies here. That blue knight was actually not that bad once you figured out. Oh, hey there. You figured out his moveset. It's almost like the ones with red capes are difficult, are more difficult. Okay, there they are. That's what I need. I'm just gonna make it there without dying. Maybe I'll wait for these two knights to pass. I haven't seen where they go. They go down... Oh, he turns around. Also, oh, they just keep trolling. Oh, what I definitely don't want is... To aggro both of them. Should be able to fight this one because... He has the exact same moveset as the blue one. Okay. Again, they stagger surprisingly easily. Despite the fact that they are wearing heavy armor. Fuck it, we'll just come and fight him. Okay, gotta be careful here. Not to underestimate these guys. Oh, fuck, I hate that attack. I'll pick this up and we'll work through it. Cool. Because I don't think the other ones, the hollows, are going to follow me. Yeah, this one is harder to fight because of the great shield. Especially since... There is no way for me... I'm wasting all my Estus. There is no way for me to break his guard. Yeah, this one is more difficult to fight than the other one. Well, that was all my Estus flasks again. At least I'm getting shit from them, which is... I'm not sure if that's really that good, compared to the fact that I'm losing a lot of HP. Not even HP, but Estus. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna... I'm gonna take the cheap way out here. Or are you just gonna turtle? Okay. Oh, I still have one Estus flask? Oh yeah, because now I have four. Just come up here. God, these guys... Oh, damn it. Yeah, these guys are really annoying to fight that, now that I can't break their guard. At least I only have to hit them once. Cool. And he's dead. Why do I have a feeling that this is gonna lead to the boss fight? I mean, this certainly does look like the bottom of the yeah I mean if I've ever seen a boss arena this is it what the, the hell are these guys I still don't get it they're like turtle people something like that yeah but we're not gonna go in there with even if it's not a boss fight which it might not be 
We're still not going in there with 4,000 souls. I'm gonna go ahead and... Screw it, we'll just use a Homeward Bone. Oh, that's nice. You can select where you wanna go. We're gonna go back to the shrine. So, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping this episode up. I wanna thank you guys very much for watching. I think we did okay. I mean, we got to, I think, the bottom of the high wall. Next up, we're gonna start by leveling up and probably purchasing some spells because, again, I wanna make this kind of like a combined int build. But we'll see what happens. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.